bunch. Hi, it's me, Kui. I'm here at Road, Houston Rodeo 2020. This is day two for me. All right, let's go. And today we have a special guest. We're here with, with Jim from Rodeo Express. So, Jim, we met you briefly last night, and uh, you, you described yourself doing a colorful job. But uh, but seriously, what? what uh, I, I know you're like the the vice chairman, but what what is it that you actually do? Um, well, basically, I do what this guy over here tells me to do. Okay. So, if you could tell me a little bit about how <laughs> no, it works, no, like, we what just when you get uh, make sure area? that each one of the teams that are working every night, um, you know, their captain, assistant captains have uh, whatever direction they need and. And one we of the let judges them do the work, but we just kind of go around and supervise them. Oh, okay. So you, you actually uh, oversee everything, right? From the light rail well, there's two, to two ops. To myself, and, uh, and uh, TJ, uh, and we work under James. Oh, okay. James, is, he'll, he'll tell you what his role is. And how do you okay. call His job is to make sure me and James are doing ours. Uh, and okay. Uh, now one of the stories I like to hear is so how long you've been actually uh, people have been doing this. I've heard from 25 years, uh, 20 years, 36 years even. Well, I haven't been doing it that long, uh, James. Has. Think, okay. So how many years have you been doing it? About 11. 11. Okay. And originally, what what made you uh, want to get onto the road express? My brother was uh, on the uh, this committee, and mm -hmm. he tried to get me on the committee for years, but. I'm, I'm ram construction for school and from one call to another, this is so called I just, the manager I didn't director have the time of and I didn't want to do it unless I could really come in. Well. So really once I retired, then but tell us he a got me on the Gotcha. And in the 11 years that, that you've been doing this, uh, what has some of the changes that you have seen? Well, not many, uh, but uh, basically, uh, when I first got on the team, we located over here at Bussi, which allows kids to be younger age. Uh, to get down with the light rail is probably and showing it, over. Uh, hopefully from there they will so like like this area uh what is actually what this what is this area that we're at here it's called uh, bus so ops bus ops okay yeah and they start at such an early age we're going to bring the bus stop showing road yet the largest bus stop show in the world and without it down we get light rail uh, has there been any, like, technology-wise, been anything that's been helping you uh, that you've seen help make the job a little bit easier in the last 11 years? Well, this year, uh, we have uh, badges now that, that with the barcode that we can check uh, members Hi, everyone. in and out. A lot faster? Oh, okay. Okay. So that's been a lot better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It gets better every year. Okay. That's good. We have the general manager of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo here, Mr. Joe Bruce Hancock. And any interesting stories uh, that comes to mind in the last 11 years? Like any storms that hit you guys all of a sudden or... Uh, we work in the rain, the sleet, for the our special snow. needs kids. It's yeah. much like the event we do in the last stadium. It's and what's the worst weather condition-wise that, that you've worked in so far? Uh, what, a couple of years ago, when uh, it, it was probably in the twenties. Twenties. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Okay. So that's definitely going to work. Okay. But it still stayed open. Hey, it didn't close. Yeah, the team stayed out. It must be a great feeling to see this come together. Well, it is. It's a day that, 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 that particular child the has got all his work. family an invite to uh, the Houston Livestock Show Rodeo. Uh, uh, out he's out here going. competing uh, with all the, the adrenaline and all the come in excitement that anybody in. else would. He'll get a buckle. He'll get a trophy. Exactly. Now, what happens if they line up, right, <laughs> and they get assigned their very own cowboy to help That is true. That's correct. All right. Well, pleasure talking to you, Jim. Thank you. All right. Well, then right next to him, we have a friend, James. So James, uh, what, can you to tell uh, to be my, my, my viewers what is that uh, your actual title? Rodeo today. They will actually be the ones uh, that help light the, rail, the child compete. Side, whether that's uh, putting them on the bull or helping them basically uh, to do the roping and uh, run around the barrels. Rail, and there's some stick horse races. Uh, it's kind of a, 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 a team event. So it, it'll all be uh, pretty interesting to watch. Now, little bus horse means so to me my child can do what any other child can do. She gets an opportunity to you know, being cowboy, but she was talking. And she gets to be part of something that's bigger than, you know, um, just going everyday life. This is like, we get to do a rodeo. How many kids get out to do a rodeo? But when she first saw a cowboy, she was like, oh, a cowboy, cowboy. So we make a big deal. We make everything a big deal. You know, anything that she does, we celebrate everything. But this is a celebration for us. I'm so excited she got in there. Little Wrestlers gives us a chance to get all our kids out together and do 
when I first started, typical children, you know, would my normally get the year. chance to do. So it's a very we nice opportunity for special needs kids. The this is a surprise for us. This is our first time here, so we weren't really sure what to expect. But so far, we're having a great time. The experience out here is just all overwhelming. Uh, with the kids and everything, the, the special friends that are out here and everything, it's just very hard to see. I am the lucky one today. I'm the and I uh, believe there's, what, seven shifts at least, right? Uh, from from team, team A through G, right? Each team will work five shifts. Five shifts each team. Oh, okay. Okay. And there's seven teams, right? Seven well, there's more teams than that? Eight teams, okay. There are eight teams, wow. That includes early birds. Okay. Uh, but, uh, like I said, she is a professional trick rider, and I'm so excited to be talking to her. And uh, your earliest team gets here, what, like 5 a.m., right? No, no, no. They get here at around 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. They are here I till 5 p.m. And then our evening groups during the week come in at 4:30 in the afternoon. Okay. And usually stay till around 4:30. Just kind of fell in love with it. And was actually a life skater. So that's kind of how I got my start. You're telling me you want to make sure that the number of people that you go to control the last minute. I do. I think this is my maybe 11th year. 12th year here at Rodeo Houston, and it's one of my favorite rodeos. Love coming here. So let's talk about some of the movies we've actually done tricks in. Sure. Sure. And in, in the 24 years that you've been here, every year it's actually gotten more and more, right? There's never been a year where it's actually dropped, right? I've done about 23 feature films and television shows. Um, the number of people, Chiang as far as coming to the rodeo, um, it's always Rocky Trail, Little House on the Prairie. We did Western. have a big so sign kind of that we had a really big job, big job to handle. Well, we just done a little kid. Oh, that was what early 2000s. Nothing quite that glamorous. More like Owen Wilson. And I did actually get to double for him once. At that time, there was hardly any parking. So I'm feeling the pot. I've got the fringing and the sequence, so let's go. So this sounds great. Let's get you doing some tricks. All right, so you're going to go ahead and stand up on the horse. It's called Liberty Stand. And so I'll just give you a quick demonstration. And we've put a strap on the saddle here to have somewhere for your feet to go. It's just going to kind of help you out a bit, okay? So the feet going in the strap. And I see there's a fancy term, right? We call it EMLR. Yeah. Oh, but long time ago when I first started, God, I want my stretchy jeans. Uh, we were known as the cone okay. The cone heads, okay. Yeah. Because what we had to do, only the buses. You know, flexibility ain't the same after the kids. <laughs> yes, I know, so, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so you can go ahead and use the barn and grab some All along All along fan right the, here. No, a long fan. Holy Hall! Wow! And you'd have to do it at around 4.35 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we'd have to go pick them up uh, around 8.30 o'clock. still will be fine. For 22 days, you just repeated that over and over. So, wow. You don't feel like okay. I'm holding on to anything. So, I don't know why you can hold on to the brakes. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Look up, look where you're going, chin up. You're doing great. You got it. You got it, girl. Okay. And you're going to get a hold of your back hand. Okay. And then you may want to be on this okay. side to, to see what happens next. But so, we still, actually, you guys have had a trailer, like an actual no, trailer? Oh, oh trailer, wow. Ride, yeah, okay. a flatbed trailer. You pull uh -huh. the truck. That sounds oh, like okay. a deal. <laughs> All right, so as this one comes over, yes. left leg yeah. over, and you're going to get your back handle, and then you're just going to slide to the small of your back on your seat. Feet up, feet straight up, straight up. and together. Point those toes, let the beautiful hair fall down. There you go, good job. She's got so, it. So everything that they've learned after a year, then they, they try to implement it for the next year and try to make it a little bit easier for you guys, right? Yeah. Yeah. The J.O. Shea for Radio Houston Unplugged out. Prove it to make our life easier and also the life easier Haley Gansel was just five years old when she decided riding a horse on the saddle wasn't good enough. Uh, okay, and this is only uh, day two so far, but uh, have you seen uh, the runs pretty smoothly so far? So far it's been running pretty smoothly. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got everything in place now. Uh, 
stations have to do a couple little more uh, tying up with loose ends. But down probably by tomorrow, Wednesday. And uh, now Jim told me how he got involved in this. So 24 years ago, what made you get involved in this? So, a I just wanted to join a committee at that time. Okay. And uh, I filled in my paperwork. And by chance, this is a committee that said, we got a spot for you. Would you like to join? And I joined at that point. And I just wanted to get involved. So the whole 24 years you've been only on this team, you haven't jumped to another team and, and come back? on different teams. With oh, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. as far as Rodeo yeah. Express, uh-huh. that's the only one. Oh, okay. It's a family it's thing. It's yeah. There's so much to learn from my family. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, but he was a like said, There are a lot of stories that I was born yeah. two months yeah. premature. So I was in the hospital uh, for two months after. Some that you just sit back and shake your head. Yeah. Wow. So everybody has a good time. Uh-huh. All the members have a good time. Uh, we have some ER. that might stay a year. Uh, some stay a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, because but the bottom line, I, uh, tell people, especially newcomers, try us out. If it's not easy, you should ride each other. You should sit on about 100 feet or more than you are. You just have to find the right fit. Yeah. For some people, this is committed if they want no, to be on the right fit. Typically, we're always so far, yeah, looking for kind of late members. Late yeah. Yeah. We're always short. So. My parents never never told me I was anything, but it's special and I'm always going to do great things. Great things. And and, and what I like about our committee is that we, we're, we're, we're part of the first so ones to actually greet all, all the guests that come here, right? Yeah. You are right. Yeah. And, um, as far as everyone that is coming, we're the first group that they'll see. We welcome them. And they're leaving for the night. And we are basically telling them goodbye. And I want to help others be the best. I have a soft spot for kids. I love little kids. I love helping them. I love helping them do what they can. Awesome. Well, I'm looking forward to uh, interviewing some of our other members tonight, and uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, probably both. <laughs> All right. Hey, it's me, Quee. I'm here at day two at the Houston Rodeo, and I've got two of my fellow team members on Rodeo Express. Can you tell, uh, tell me your first name real quick? Rick. Rick and Jim. Rick and Jim. So uh, I think, Rick, I met you briefly yesterday inside the shack. That's right. And then, and Jim, uh, is this is this your? Uh, I don't think I met you yesterday, did I? No, no. Okay. And what is it that you uh, actually pull back a little bit that way people can see? All right. So what are you guys doing right now? Well, we're working hard. Okay. I can tell you that right now. Right high off this gate, so people won't try to come in and out of this gate. Oh, okay. And what is this area that, that we're in right now, actually? This is the committee parking area. Okay. We pan over so people can see. And normally, this is uh, during a football game, this is Orange Lot, right? Yeah. Okay. We're still Orange Lot, okay. I even got to wear my own work. And uh, I'm trying to remember how long you said you've been uh, on this committee. Over 20 years, right? Yeah, mine was 26. 26 years, wow. And then Jim? Uh, rookie. You're a rookie? <laughs> I'm 30 years. 30 years! Oh my goodness. Wow. You got to be by six years. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty young, yeah, that's right. Oh. <laughs> they got me first. They picked me first. No, uh, so, uh, hold on. So, 24 years, right? 26. 26 years ago. What what made you want to get on to the Road to Express team? Well, I was on the uh, hospitality from uh, 1983 to 1994. Okay. And I saw what was going on over here, so I said I wanted to go try that out. And I've been stuck here ever since. Now, were you one of the... Uh, I was interviewing Jim earlier, and he said, uh, you guys had a team well, called the Coneheads. Were, were you one of the Coneheads? Exciting no, jump no. off. I don't know if it's going to be as exciting oh, okay. as our didn't do that. last World that, Cup that qualifier was here. Long, wasn't it? Well, that was, but, yeah. and, and they were kind of outcasts, so we didn't have nothing. Oh, they're outcasts. Oh, okay. They would take a trailer over to these cones, and they would run them out on Fannin. Yeah, I was just talking with Richard Jeffrey outside. For two blocks, I heard. Right. They were like hundreds and hundreds of cones, basically, right? Next week or the Well, and that's what am I going to do? Place wagers or how many cars would run over how many Oh, <laughs> that, was, that was a daily thing. Oh, no. <laughs> like, how many codes will get destroyed daily? <laughs> 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 
Oh, well, that's awesome. Well, what about you? What, what made you join 30 years ago? What made me join? Well, I was lonely. Oh, you were lonely. Oh, so you figured you could pick up some women doing this? Well, yeah, I did. Okay, and did you meet anybody? No. No? Oh. I'm running with this one. All right. And uh, so, so during all, all these years, what's some of the more memorable events that, that you guys remember? Oh, go ahead. don't want to put that on the oh, okay, okay. No, no. Well, well, anything that, that, that would be safe to mention? Like a weather, something happened weather-wise? or What's the worst weather that you guys been been through here? Well, it was three years ago, four years ago. Oh, yeah. A little tornado or a windstorm come through and knocked half of our tent down. Oh, dang. And it was right before we were going to start the rodeo. It was before the rodeo opened. What was the trouble? Oh, man. So we had to come out here and tear it all down. Uh, super right there. Set up a temporary inside. When they got Jump. the parts to fix the tent, back they, off there we had to come back in and tear it all down again so they could fix the tent. And then we had to put it all back up. So that was very minimal. So what was, that, was, that, was that like a 20-hour day to do that all day? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was a good way to Three start. days in a row. Oh, man. I had a, had a bad trip there, and he lost 20 hours, but it was a long time. I actually thought maybe okay. we were stuck. At what about you? What's, what's well, I was nowhere to be found there. Yeah. Oh, you were just sleeping? I what was going on. <laughs> gotcha. My most memorable time, yeah. I suppose, was... Uh, Women like that just walking by. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> that's a good memory. Well, uh, well, I'm sure you probably ran to some of the celebrities that that that's been through here. Have, have you met? Have you run into any of them? Yeah, I have a few times. Well, before when I was with uh, the Horse Intelligence Commission, I was down in the dome. That's not a kid. Rodeo was still in the house. Now, you go down in there with a tractor. And took some hay down in there to the, the stock, and uh, there was a band in there warming up. So I stopped my tractor and I was listening to him. Here we have Caitlin Ziegler and touchdown. walked up to me. You know, again, Caitlin, uh, a young rider. Up on the tractor. He said they had a trainer like chasing her a little there. while. <laughs> uh, you know, there's two schools of thought. Either you said, hello, you know, just have a nice Mark round and get some nice experience. Wow. Hey, make it your night. So this is before Dark Book even became famous, huh? basically. This is a long time ago. Wow. Back in the dome. So okay. I don't know. Maybe started I mean, to see where that was. It's uh, 20 years ago. Okay. Seven strides. What were you? Any celebrities that you, you met through these years? Yeah. There's a couple of them that called and asked me for a ride. Oh, okay. You know, I told them no. I wasn't going to go down and get me service for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A lot about food-wise, uh, throughout all of these years, what, what kind of food have you guys enjoyed here? Very accurate. Well, we just had a pretty good supper all the time. Sure did. Our, uh, our Rodeo Express jump wagon. A little slow, a little cold, a little light. She just touched it on the neck with the stick and she needs a little And uh, actually, how long have, have they been doing the, the chuck wagon? About 10 years now? No. Longer than that? One more stride. Quarter, right at 20 now, years also. It was really it was close great when, we, uh, when you guys started. When started uh, no, the, the first 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 Oh, okay. When we well, built the really football stadium and and home watching oh, okay. on the chuck wagon is really close right in that area. Well, I'm really appreciative of that because that saves us a tr- hassle having to go all the way in, badge in, and come back to the security and uh, all that. So it's been really helpful. Yeah, yeah. That's quite something. Well, well, awesome. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I'm looking forward to talking to you again. Can you tell me your first name real quick? Pedro. Pedro and Emily. So Pedro and Emily, what, what is this area called? Uh, this area is called the Crosswalk. Okay. Uh, I think the big stride of horses can take a good gallop to the yeah. first jump and do six strides. One For Road Express, yes. Yeah. Rodrigo do that. And I think we'll All right. Be easy to do that. And how long have you you been on Road Express? Rookie. You're a rookie. How about you? Two years, my second year. Okay. Yeah. And what actually made you join Road Express? Details that someone like Bees will be judged. Why the road goes through those uh-huh. star markers on the increase for our younger generation. So that's the only reason why. Beautiful little slice. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about you? When made you join Road, Road Express? I love the rodeo. I love the environment. Okay. All right. Thank you. The gate. All right. Thank you. Hi. Can you tell me your name real, real quick? What? Can you tell me your first name real, real quick? 
Are you with Lydia? Yep. No, with Road Express. I'm, I'm doing the, the, the video oh, clips. Hi, yeah. Harris. Okay. So, Mary, how long have you been working for Road Express? Three years. Jumped Three years. Two, awesome. Two, two, and what made you want to join Road Express? It was much tighter here. That was, yeah, that was tight. Just something to do? And this is tighter. Okay. Got all of his coins come out. Gotcha. Wow. And what is your, your function actually for a, a, this area? Okay. And you are the literal gatekeeper, right? Okay. You're seven and nine. Well, awesome. Okay. So how far? How long have you been? Uh, you, so so far this year, have you been enjoying it? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Oh, just started. Uh, okay. All right. Well, is there anybody looking forward to seeing at the rodeo? I just don't see how. Uh, I like them all. I mean, the beat, they, they really got to go. Oh, okay. So who, who, uh, oh, okay. All right. How about Willie? Are you going to go see Willie later? No. Oh, okay. Now, okay, you have to wait. Gotcha. Well, awesome. Well, thank you, Mary. Okay. That was unbelievable.